You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASOF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irwan, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. Let's talk about different kind of filters, but first of all we have to divide filters into two groups, off-chip and on-chip filter. What is off-chip filter? It means that these filters are not integrated in the same uh, IC with for example receiver and transmitter and they have their separate block so you have to, we have to like get them and connect them to our receiver or a transmitter or transceiver. So uh, these are kind of separate, that's why we call them off-chip. So uh, you can see different kind of examples. The main problem of these filters is uh, actually, as you see, they are big, they are uh, consuming high area. So uh, we can start with LC filters, so it consists of uh, inductor and capacitor, dielectric resonators, saw filters, saw filters are commonly used in a uh, transmitter and receivers for example as we talked before uh, we we have to use a filter in between antenna and receiver and generally we use a saw off chip filter and this filter uh, has a wide band response and it can uh, receive some it can allow some frequencies to pass to inside the receiver and reject others so saw filter is one of the popular filters that's used uh, in receiver system micro strip filter it's again off chip filter and, and the fabrication steps is like the uh, micro strip antenna. So we have a, a dielectric and maybe copper. So we etch it and we make this shape. So we use this uh, micro strip filter in different kind of applications. Helical resonator and crystal filters are uh, other examples of off chip filters. So let's uh, compare some of these technologies. For example, for LC filter, we can uh, have a frequency range from 10 megahertz up to 2 gigahertz. As you see, it's a quite wide range and the, uh, it's a low cost. Dielectric resonator, it's kind of same little bit. Um, we uh, try to operate these uh, uh, filters uh, in a little bit higher frequencies. Uh, saw filter, as we mentioned, you see, uh, the, uh, we call it surface acoustic filter. It's from 70 megahertz to giga, 2 gigahertz, and um, cost here is going high. A micro strip filter, as you see, we mentioned mic micro strip uh, technology previously. Uh, this is one of the most important uh, uh, features of this uh, filter is a high frequency. As you see, we, we can use this kind of filter up to 30 gigahertz, and also the cost is low. So it's a perfect and one of the uh, best filters we use. Helical resonators are not operating at really high frequencies. Crystals, same as you see crystal filter. Uh, the problem with crystal filters, uh, they operate in a low frequency range up to 550 megahertz and they have a really high cost. But there is small uh, ceramic filters uh, also, they have a small size. But actually, as you see, these, uh, these uh, last filters are commonly used for low frequency applications, intermediate frequency, let's say 5 to 50, 20, 250 to 10.5. So uh, we can use these uh, filters for uh, radio frequency, maybe. Unchip filters are divided into different uh, categories. Uh, we can uh, group them into uh, digital filters and analog filters. And inside analog filters, we can have passive and active. In, uh, in active filters, GMC filters are uh, popular switch capacitor filters are popular and this uh, the, one of the main feature of switch capacitor filter is low power so if we want to have a, a low power design uh, we should use a switch capacitor filter but actually they are complicated comparing to the GMC filters GMC filters are feasible they are easier to design they are not complex but switch capacitor filters are harder to design and they, they are challenging and for passive ones we can use again LC LC can be a, a, a on chip or off chip both of them so let's uh, observe a comparison between off chip and on chip for off chip filter we say we will have higher Q we will talk about Q actually uh, we always want to have a high Q in our system because when we have high Q we have less noise and less uh, loss in our system in our filter let's say so uh, one of the main uh, advantages of the uh, off-chip filter is uh, having a high Q, they have high precision, but the problem is that they have high area consumption and more parasitics. More parasitics, of course, for example, uh, imagine that we have a filter, and this is off off-chip filter, it's designed, it has its full block, and this is our IC, for example, let's say receiver, and if you remember, we said antenna here. So we are trying to connect this filter to our IC. This connection means parasitics. 
that's the one that's one of the problems because in, in this connection we will have extra inductance and capacitor we call them parasitics so it will cause us problem one of the challenges of using of chip filter uh, and the problem is that it's separated f uh, from IC. So basically, we, now we have two blocks. We can't uh, integrate it. We can't we can't put it inside our uh, IC. It should be separated outside of the uh, IC and it should be on the board. For on-chip filters, they have lower precision and lower Q. They have loss. They have noise, uh, but they have very low area consumption uh, comparing to the uh, off-chip. Basically, they are on-chip and they are integrated inside the IC. They are uh, actually fabricated along with the IC components, along with transistors, so uh, they will consume a very low area and they will have a less parasitics because they don't have extra connections, they are just uh, really close to the IC components. So uh, these are the main advantages and disadvantages of uh, off-chip and on-chip filters. These are some also examples of uh, on-chip, for example, you can see here LC filter. This filter is used for high frequency. For example, in this picture, you can see the, the uh, microphotograph of 5.2 gigahertz bandpass filter by MIM capacitors. And the dimension is, as you see, it's like a, around 800 micrometer by six, like 700 micrometer. As you see, it's very small, but if you want to have this in off-chip, uh, version it will be uh, so much bigger than this and it will uh, consume higher area so um, this is a this is the structure and this is a this is the kind of band pass filter it means that it's getting the specific band specific uh, band of frequency 5.2 gigahertz uh, it allows the frequency of 5.2 gigahertz but it rejects the other frequencies and at the right side you can see different kind of LC filters for example low pass high pass band pass, band stop, and these are uh, four different uh, topologies that we mentioned before, but here you can see the implementation using the LC filter. And here there are some on-chip filters, for example, GMC filters, how we make them, we just need capacitors and GM cells. And uh, what is GM cell? GM cell is basically a, a transconductance amplifier. Uh, it, we can call it like a VI, V2I converter, it means that uh, at the input we have a voltage and at, at the output we have current. So I out is like a GM V in. And this is the transconductance gain of this amplifier, the current gain for example. We can use this topology as you see here. This is a second order GMC filter and um, we have a two capacitors and two GM cells. So this is a second order filter. So the problem is that we, we, can u we can't use, for example, GMC in very high frequencies in, uh, in gigahertz range because why we have transistors here. This is not RF, this is analog design. Uh, we can reach up to a uh, few hundred megahertz maybe. But for higher application, we must use LC filters or this kind of things because uh, as you see these transistors, each of them have the um, FAT, which is limited to uh, lower or intermediate frequencies. So these filters are generally used in uh, intermediate frequency inside our transmitter or receiver. Uh, but uh, when we are going to RF part uh, or RF front end, we have to use LC filters. Also, switch capacitor filter, as you see here, is a second order. As you see, we have to know, use different kind of switch. It's much more complicated than the GMC filter, but it's a low power and it has its own uh, advantage and uh, we are not going to talk about this in details because it's kind of uh, off topic hey guys thank you for watching the entire video i'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components ra rf 101 so you can uh, get this course from our website if you go to the page you just have to select the buy this course and register here as you see if you're not registered up to now so you need your username email password and also you have to answer a security question and then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button, and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website. Then after that, all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to checkout. And as you see, click to enter your code. You can put the, the coupon code here and then apply the coupon. So then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course. As you see, you won't pay anything for this course.
Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.